Once you've set up your VRA screens, you're ready to go. You have the option of a third screen. Uh, I've only chosen two today, but a third screen could be placed behind the assistant. So to have the child focus on that screen once again, when they have turned their heads towards either sides. I've set up the demo system today so you can see all the cords, but of course, when you use it in the clinic, you will hide the cords away so it will look really nice. That's also where the mount comes in, so you can hide everything out. Our VRA screen system is independent of any audiometer, so you can use whatever you have in your clinic. When you're using our system, an audiologist will be sitting outside the booth doing the audiometry, and an assistant will be here in the booth with the child and holding the mouse. When the audiologist presents a sound to the child and the child reacts and turns their head towards the screen, the assistant will click the mouse and activate the screen as a reward. If the child reacts really well to a video or a picture, you can just scroll back three times on the wheel and then the same video or picture will be played once again. If you've made multiple playlists and want to choose another one, you can just scroll three times forward and then the playlist will move on to the next one. You can see it visible down in the side of the screen for just one second. And that's all you need to know to get started with the VRA screen.